Hello, friends. I am Katie. And I have here with me... Yeah, this is DJ Zena. And we are probably not the only people that have, that are ranting about this, and that have, and that probably will in the future. GameStop. Oh, GameStop. GameStop, GameStop, GameStop. And also Amazon and Scalpers, but we'll get into why we're ranting about that later. So. Okay, power to the investors, not power to the players. Yeah, GameStop <laughs> slogan, power to the players. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah, as you see here, we're looking at the both the Nintendo Switch and Wii U versions of Breath of the Wild. And Tell me how this makes sense. Okay, for the Wii U version, this is what really started her rant here. Um, because he here's what... Why? 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 for new. $39.99 for pre-owned. But, okay, I figured fifty nine ninety nine for uh, digital. But still. My for the physical release here, if we're just looking at the physical release... Uh, thirty-four ninety-seven new. Why is it forty pre-owned but thirty-five new? Yeah. Huh? We're we're the switch version. Explain to me sense. why the new version, the the new new version, the new ver versus pre-owned. Why is the new cheaper than pre-owned? I mean, if it was like pre-owned by like, you know. Masahiro Sakurai or something. One of the workers at Nintendo, I would understand that, but why it would be more expensive well, being a pre-owned game. Well, the Switch version is, is pretty you know, much sixty dollars across the board. Yeah, sixty dollars for both digital and brand new physical. And then fifty five for pre-owned. Pre yeah. I don't know. That makes more sense. Yeah. You think it'd be the same thing for the Wii U version, but no. Also, I like how it still has the release date up, even though that was two years ago. <laughs> I know. But, yeah. So, lately in the news, GameStop has been rumored to be, is it going under new management or going out of business? Uh, they were up for sale, but now they're not up for sale anymore, and it's weird right now what's going on with GameStop. Also, I'm trying a new thing where, for if I'm using Screen Recorder to record like a rant or discussion, the picture that's up for most of the video will be a drawing related to that topic. So, s see? Yep. Since the draw the topic is Zelda... Got this uh, cute chibi link. Yes. I yes, I also drew this. All the drawings you'll see on these videos I drew. So but anyway. GameStop, why? Also, another thing that frustrates me, and I don't think that this is just GameStop, but I saw a wallet in GameStop when I went in there, right? So I go to look on the wallet for the wallet on GameStop.com. I can't find it. So I go to look for it on ThinkGeek. Can't find it. So I'm like, what the heck? Where is it? And then I go back a week or two later to that same GameStop. The wallet's gone. I'm like, what the frick? Like, do I have to search Google search it or something? Like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Do you have anything you want to say about GameStop? Yeah, I think pretty much everything. I'm about it's to say just pretty much is, is corporate well greed. It's corporate greed, pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much the same old. But what bullshit. pisses me off is we were looking at the trade in credit and the cash value of. Both the Switch and the Wii U version. Tell them. Okay, so what you're getting for the Wii U version is... Let me get this pulled up again. 
because this is, I guess I, ki- I kind of expected it. Um, mostly just because the Wii U version is less popular. I'm seriously wanting to buy the Wii U version so I can mod it. Yeah, so we got the Switch version where you get, if you're a pro member, you get 33 bucks trading credit, regular person, 30 bucks. Uh, but that's trading credit. And then 26 bucks, or 24 to 26 bucks, you know, whether you're a member or not. And that's cash. But this is what makes me mad. And that's for mad. the Switch version. You now, get $26, right? Cash. And then they turn around and sell it for 56 But that's how GameStop's always been, so I'm not gonna... And then the Wii U version... This is bull. Third... Like, anywhere from $12 to $13.20 trade-in credit for, you know, just in-store purchases. Or nine sixty to ten fifty six for cash. If you want to trade in a copy of the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild, don't. You'll get a, quite a bit more money... If you just sell it on your own. <clears throat> or tra- trade it to, like, a lo- like a small business game store. Yeah, they're more, like... Like, family-owned game stores. Like, there's a store in our area called Game World, where it's, like, independently run. It's not a corporation. Yeah. And usually those kind of stores uh, usually pay a bit more. Plus, they're nicer to you. Yeah. They won't rip you off. Yeah, and usually more than that, you're always going to get a good quality copy if you're buying a physical edition. Speaking, yeah, because... Although the prices are high as shit. If you're trying to buy stuff. But... Then again, they have a lot of older stuff. Yeah. And it's not in, like, mass quantities either. Like, they, yeah. when we went, they didn't have, like, six Game Boys. They had one. Yeah. So. And speaking of ripoff, that gets into my next point I want to talk about. Some of you guys may not know this, but we've recently begun. Ripoff resellers. We've recently started collecting Amiibos. Now, we're trying to complete the game, you know, get the armor sets, blah, blah, blah. To get the Zelda armor sets, you need the Legend of Zelda Amiibos. Here's the thing. I'm going to do a disclaimer right now. The Amiibos we're probably going to talk about don't actually get you armor, but to complete the Zelda collection, we do need them. Okay, disclaimer over. We need the Smash Zelda Amiibo. So we're going on Amazon. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to show names or give these people any, you know, credit or notoriety, you know. So yeah, you're just going to look at this drawing of my shield. Sellers of the year, if not the century. Also, another disclaimer. I paid three twenty five for my Switch. And you went through a scalper and paid... $390. Yeah. So, we were looking on Amazon, right? We were talking to our friend, Artist Chibi, and we were both talking about how bad both of us want a Guardian Amiibo. So I said, maybe when we... uh, if we can find a good deal on some, we'll mail you one. And she said, cool. Her husband said she would love that very, very much. Because she's like the biggest Zelda nerd. Anyway. Love you, artist. Love you. But anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So, we were looking on Amazon for the Guardian Amiibo. $58. Yeah. Fifty-eight dollars. It was originally probably like what thirty. Yeah. 
babe. Yeah. It was probably like originally thirty when it first came out. Yeah. It's sixty bucks? Are you kidding? And that's, there's only that's, two that's, left in stock. People are buying this. That, so that's that's not nearly as bad as the you know, the NES classic edition scalpers. I'm talking about amiibos right now though, love. Oh, yeah. But like we want to g collect all the Zelda ones at least. And it's so hard because like just the Smash Zelda is like $35. So we're going to be going to visit some family in Omaha. So we called some of the local game stores and they said our amiibos range from 5 to about 20. Yeah. And they said we'll be getting I think both of the Breath of the Wild Zelda and the Smash Zelda. Yeah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? For real? Ugh. Just wow. So, yeah. yeah. And if you want the Champions Ballad for Amiibo set, I mean the Champions Amiibo set, they do sell it in a four-pack, but your wallet's going to cry. Because it's a hundred and ninety two dollars. So all I'm saying is when it comes to games like Zelda or Pokemon, you know, stuff like that that's got like such cult followings. If you see a good deal on a Zelda amiibo, do yourself a favor and pick it up. Grab the shit day one if you really want it. For your collection. Or if you're at Target or Amazon, Walmart or GameStop get... and you see it for a really good price, pick it up. You got your Link Smash for $14, didn't you? Yeah. It was like $14, $15. Yep. And Amazon's selling it for 25 so. That's the one thing I hate about shopping on Amazon is you can set your own price for stuff. And people are assholes. <laughs> No, it's not just Amazon. It's also eBay. eBay's worse, though. Yeah, and suddenly that's what a lot of collectors go at for uh, their prices if they're selling shit. Mm-hmm. They go for whatever the highest price is for that Yeah, time. like, you need to value a trading card or something? Oh, I'm gonna go look it up on eBay. That's not accurate. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Yeah. Basically, when new Amiibos get announced, and I know this has been a thing for a while, but line up and get them as early as possible before the reselling assholes beat you to the punch. Also, can I also say something else? Why do stores let people do this? Like, you know, if you've got somebody that you're checking out, and they buy, like, seven Switches or eight Switches. Don't you think that's a little bit odd? Or, you know, the person coming in buying over 50 1080 Ti's at the same time and find out he's one of those Bitcoin miners and running up the cost of all the graphics cards. <laughs> It, it's or if you see that. somebody buying, like, f four or five PlayStation Classics when those came out. Uh -huh. They're oh. probably scalpers. Although they'll probably say the excuse, oh, I'm getting these as gifts for my kids or something. Who's got they're... ten kids? <laughs> Who are you, John and Kate plus eight? Yeah. You'd be surprised, baby. I know, I'm not trying to offend anybody who has a lot of kids, but come on, guys, really, really. Although that's not really happening too much with a PlayStation Classic. Although there was Edward that one guy who, this is hilarious, got a slap in the face. So he paid lots of money... No, she paid this guy lots and lots of money for the first spot in the line when the new iPhone came out. <laughs> and he, she gets to the front of the line, she goes in the doors open, and she's like, I'd like to buy six iPhones, please. Yep. 
And the cashier goes, I'm sorry, ma'am. We're only selling one per customer. To make sure we've got enough for everybody. That's what GameStop needs to do. That's what, like, Target... Target and Walmart did that. When this, uh... NES and SNES Classics first came out, my cousin told me only one... You had to you could call ahead and reserve it, or you could be lucky and get lucky enough to get one when you got in line. But it was only one per customer. Hmm. Good. Now, what families have done to get two like switches when the switch came out? The husband would be in line, and then the wife would be in line, but they'd pay separate. Hmm. Cause it's one per customer. And Target did that, and Walmart, Kenny, I mean, uh, yeah, Kenny told me that when he was working, when the Switch came out, uh, people were in line, and only, people were only getting one per customer, so. See, GameStop needs to take the initiative that Walmart and Target took, and that that AT&T store took against that lady who wanted to buy, like, seven iPhones. Yep. And another, one more thing. If you're going to buy Amiibos through eBay or cards through eBay or games or anything like that, check around. See if you're overpaying. Yeah. Because he had just overpaid for some dentist shit and now he feels like he got ripped off. But he might make a video about that, so I'm not going to go too into that. Yeah. But anyways, thanks guys so much for listening. Because basically, shop around. Shop around, prices. look online, ask your local game dealer, ask people on YouTube. Some people know these types of things. And just or, do, it, I, do your you know, research. As, uh, as it was kind of explained in that uh, song where the kid gets seven fifty once a week. You know, about comparison and all that. Save enough to buy some real cool stuff. Yep. <laughs> yes, I'm referencing Schoolhouse Rock for this bit, but it makes a lot of sense. Because he's talking about he paid a, a dollar for an enchilada when there was another He paid a dollar seventy five for an enchilada, but it was on sale across the street for 50 cents. For, like, the same thing. Yeah. So... so. Look around, do your research, so you don't get scalped. Yeah. But any guys, anyway, anyway guys, thanks so much for listening, and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.